All right, it's Waffle Wednesday. We're going to solve this waffle. Uh, this is the Waffle Shaped Wordle Game. There's six words in this puzzle, three going across, three going up and down. Um, green letters are going to be in the right place in the puzzle. Uh, the yellow tiles are going to be in the right word, but in the wrong place in that word. And then the black tiles are just not in the in the puzzle at all. Or, or sorry, they're not in the right word. They, they're going to go somewhere else in the puzzle. Okay, so uh, this E is interesting because it's yellow, but it's in two different words, right? It's in this word going across, it's going in this word going up and down. I'm assuming this E does not go here. My mouse is showing, okay. It doesn't go where this L goes, I wouldn't think. So I think it probably goes here. And if this R is in this word, it, this could be reuse. And then this word could be, this word could be erect, which seems pretty reasonable, honestly. I don't know what this is going to be. So if this was reused, so barge maybe. So just I'm going to write down my, my ideas here. I like to take notes. Uh, I don't like moving tiles immediately because I like to try to get uh, a five star waffle. And what that means is that we're going to have five swaps remaining at the end. You can see at the bottom it says 15 swaps. So reuse is what I'm thinking. And then erect. Just because it can't be elect, which is what I would have said. Uh, but the L can't go in the word. So. This R is yellow, so do we have? We do have two R's, so it could be this R could be yellow for this word and for this word. Um, okay, but if those are the words, this G definitely has to go in this word. This could be bilge is my first instinct. I think I feel like this e, G probably goes next to the E, and we have a, we have a couple L's that I haven't used yet. So uh, bilge looks pretty good there. So I've got four words that I'm thinking about. If this was bilge, then this would be an L. It, there's an E in this word, but it doesn't go here or here, so it has to go at the end if it's in the word, which is interesting. If this is an L, what letter would possibly come out? I feel like this probably can't be an L, actually. That's interesting. So I'm starting to think maybe this isn't bilge. This, this being an L seems almost impossible, given the letters that we have here. Yeah, it does. It seems completely impossible. I don't, I don't see how that would work. So I don't like build very much. All right, I'm gonna write down the, all the letters here so we get a little uh, a little letter bank to work with. And then I'm gonna remove the letters from barge, reuse, and erect, even though I'm not super confident in those words. But all right, so the, the letters that we still need to place are E-L-G-I-C-R-E-E-G-O-S-C-R-L. Um, and then the letters that we're using from barge, if these are correct, are R and G, so R and G, uh, and then we're using the R for reuse, and then it would just be, so it would just be two E's that I can root from reuse. And then erect would be R, C, just R and C, because we already have the E. Okay, so these are the words that, these are the letters that are left, and we do have some information. I mean, the G, and the G has to go in this word somewhere. There can't be an O or an R in the word either. That's interesting. Okay, so this E, this E word needs a C, which makes me think it has to be elect. An E has to go here, doesn't it? So this really looks like it should be elect, and we, we have erect and elect. And then I'm gonna have to use another L, I think. So elect uses, I don't know. I'm just gonna take away these letters and see what we're looking at. So elect would leave an E here, which I think is almost mandatory, just given what's going on in this word. So there's an, a U in the middle and then an E at the end. I don't know how that's gonna work with the letters that I have left here. Uh, okay, so, so I think probably I have something wrong here because I'm not seeing what's, what's, ha what's working here. All right, so we have barge. I feel like barge is like pretty mandatory. Is that not, maybe it isn't actually, but the R, so I'm really thinking R and E are going to switch and turn green. Is that worth just kind of running? I mean, there are two R's and a bunch of E's in the puzzle. So we could easily, if, if you move, if you move the wrong, when there's repeat letters, if you move the wrong one into place, you can lose a turn uh, pretty easily. What could this word be? Bilge? So bilge still looks like it fits. If we did bilge, it would be B-I-L-G, and then we'd be left with L, oh, louse. Oh, that works. That's it. 
It's just bilge and louse. That's that works perfectly. Okay, so now I've got what I, th I mean all these. So bilge would use I, L and G. Yeah, and then L would be here. We would have an E at the end. It would be O and S. Perfect. Okay, so I think we have the, the words here. Um, now I just have to be really careful with how I move stuff around. I want to find all the instances where I can move two letters and turn them both green at the same time. I was saying reuse would work. So the E and the R are both yellow here. I should be able to switch these and they should both turn green. Perfect. Um, okay, so this needs to be a G. I think there's only one G in the puzzle. When there's only one letter, you can just move it into place because there's there can't be any confusion. Oh, there are two G's. Glad I saw that because uh, that could have blown it for me. Okay, so and there's still a bunch of E's, so I can't put that here. Any other place where we can turn two letters green at the same time? Both of these C's definitely need to go. Elect and erect are, are going to have to go here. And I don't think there's a way to like... Oh, wait, this one... Okay, so this L doesn't go in this word. This C wants to go here. This L wants to go here. So these two will, should both turn green. That works. Okay, awesome. And now there's only one C left. That's going to definitely have to go here. So I think I can probably just move that over because we move the other C into place. Uh, so elect and erect. Um, okay, bilge. There's only one L left. That's going to have to go here. Um, there's only one O in the puzzle. It's going to have to go there. I'm, I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, only one L left. It's going to have to go here. So it's, there's still two G's. There's only one I. It has to go here. S, it has to go here. And then hopefully things are going to work. I don't really know what's going on here. Do any of these E's... So E's need to go here and here. And they're both switching with G. Okay, build... Okay, so either... This this can switch because I need the G there and the E here. Those both turn green. All right, we have three letters and seven swaps remaining. Um, when you have one more tile to move than you have swaps remaining, it's going to work out. So so two, two swaps to move three tiles... On the last move, they're both definitely going to turn green. So as long as I turn one green here, when I switch the R and the G, they should both turn green. That's a five-star waffle. That's how you do that game, baby. Very nice. Fandabizdozy. That's a new adjective for me. I, don't, that's, I guess it's an exclamation of some kind. I don't know what that means, but uh, we're happy about it. We're happy about it. That's a five-star waffle. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.